Hi, in this exercise what we're going to look at is chapter number seven, the geoprocessing and map overlay operations. In exercise eight, there's an exercise here in which we're trying to find the number of total interstate highway miles by state. And we're going to do a sample problem here where we look at traffic congestion for the state of North Carolina right here. You can see here in my table of contents I'd have a major highways clip and this was just a clipped layer using another geoprocessing application in another exercise or tutorial in which I created a GIS data layer just for the state of North Carolina based on based on the uh, extent of North Carolina counties here. And you can see here when I open up the attribute table what it looks like here. I have 5,901 segments right here. Um, I can sort these by length or whatever I need to. But you can see what it looks like here. It has a highway symbol name. We have roads. What I'm trying to do here is find the total number of highway miles for each county within the state of North Carolina. This is a lot like the challenge question in exercise number eight. We have to find the total number of interstate miles per state and then divide through or divide, get the population, divide through by the population to find the total number of highway miles per person. We're going to do the same thing here for North Carolina. The one problem that we run into here is we don't see a county associated with these Inter, uh, with these highways here. So I'm going to have to run the uh, intersect command to go through and do this. And in order to do this, I'm going to click on overlay with my analysis tools in my arc toolbox. Click on intersect. And I can do it right here. So I'm going to clip on my major highways clip, which is my line feature, and my counties. Okay. And I'm going to run it here. And this does a lot of the same thing. You're going to see the output of this GIS data layer is also going to be a line feature but when we intersect it, we're going to assign we're going to assign attributes of the counties to it. So now we can run, go through and run a summarize. It's going to take a minute or two here to run the intersect, the intersect command because we have 5,920 different features with 100 different counties, and it gets pretty ugly pretty quickly here. Okay, now you can see what it looks like here. Okay, if I zoom in, here's my clip right here. And I can clip on this particular highway right here. I'll just clip on this one right here. And you can see what it looks like. This is uh, Route 89 right here. Runs through Stokes County. Now I have a name associated with this highway. Now the problem is Route 89 still runs in this direction here. Or this direction right here. Into Surrey County. But you notice that it's cut off. Okay, It's cut off here. So each of these is going to be end at the county boundary right here. So we're going to have to do a little bit of summarizing and run our tools a little bit to see how we can manage this here. You, know, you can see where these segments end at. You can see Route 311 right here and then Route 311 right here in Stokes County. Previously this would have been just one, continual, one continuous feature right here. So when we go through and run this, the first thing we have to do here is, well you can see it still has a length associated with it but you'll notice we don't have a new length. Okay? And when we do look at these lengths, these lengths are in some weird unit here. Okay? Probably degrees or something like that, which is very difficult to calculate. So the first thing I'm going to do for these 6,515 different segments, I'm going to go through and add a field, and I'm going to call it length. M-I-N-L-E-N-G-T-H in miles, and I'm going to make it a double. And I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to right mouse click. And I'm going to calculate geometry. Yes. It's going to ask me the units here. Hmm. This is a little bit tricky here, and you might run into this problem from time to time where I want to find the length. Okay, it's disabled. Okay, we run into a couple problems here because it's just working with degrees. And a lot of times these calculations are very difficult to do in degrees. I have a quick little workaround right here where I can right mouse click on this here and go to properties. And this gets into some of the projection issues, and I go to predefined, projected, state plane, NAD, and we're just going to trick it a little bit. Okay, we're going to convert all of these degrees to feet just within the data frame here, so we're not doing any sort of reprojection or anything like that. North Carolina, click apply, and now it views a little bit differently here. Okay, so you can see how the view changed a little bit for a North Carolina state plane projection. I'll right mouse click here, go back to my length in miles, 
I'm going to calculate geometry. I'm going to click yes. And now this time here, it's going to say use the coordinate system of the data frame because now it can convert between degrees. It doesn't know what, how far is it, if, if a distance is seven degrees or half a degree, it doesn't know how far that is in miles because a degree is different length but depending upon your latitude and even your longitude. Okay. And I'm going to change this to miles. And I'm going to click OK. So right here I'm calculating my geometry here. Okay, now I can go through and, and sort this, sort descending here. And you can see, if I just click on this 38 mile segment right here, you can see that this particular segment right here is 38 miles, but it ends right at the county boundary here. Okay, it ends at the county boundary. So basically what we've done is broken down each of these highways into their counties and we've recalculated the length. Now we can go through and run a summarize on this. Okay, so I'm going to right mouse click, click on summarize. At the same time, I went through the trouble of clicking on my length. I'm going to click on sum. Okay, so the summarize on the county, I'm going to calculate sum, yes. There, this is, I'm going to call it name. Okay, in this case, it's going to probably going to call it name one since there's probably a repeat of the counties here somewhere. And under length, I'm going to click sum. Sure, I'd like to add the results to the map here. And when I open it up here, you can see what I have here. Okay, see what I have. I have a hundred records right here. I have a name. I have a count. Okay, this tells me the number of highway segments, which isn't a particularly important. But to me, what I care about most is the total number of highway miles within each of these counties here. So you can see here, Ro Robeson County has 342 miles of highway here. And I think this is North Carolina and probably interstate highway miles within it. Mecklenburg County has 306, which kind of makes sense here. Guilford County has 301 since it has so many people. Okay, so I'm almost done right here. While we're thinking of it here, we want to calculate an area that measures congestion. So the number of people per highway mile. Okay, so I went through and created this. Okay, I'm going to do an add field and I'm going to call this congestion. I'm going to make this a double and click OK. okay. So now I can join. I'm going to join these GIS data layers. I'm going to join the name to the name one. And you can see what we have right here. Okay. We have the count, the sum, the length, and I'm looking at the congestion right here. Okay, and the congestion right here is gonna, I'm gonna use my field calculator, and it's gonna be the number of people, population, divided by my highway miles. You see we have NC counties, this refers to the NC counties attribute table. Down here the sum output refers to the sum output table that I just created for my summarize function. I'm gonna click on create. Okay, so I have congestion, which means the most number of people per highway mile. And you can see here that Mecklenburg County, Wake County, New Hanover County, Durham County, Forsyth County are the highest. This is where they're going to have the most traffic congestion. They have more people for every highway mile that we're looking at. If we look down at the bottom here, we can see ones that are very low. Okay, Hyde County, Tyrell County. Okay, if we remember we looked at before, we'll see where Robeson County comes in here. Okay, it had a lot of highway miles, but it doesn't have a relatively high population right here. Okay, you can see here, it's got 368. Okay, some of these are upwards of 2,000 people for every highway mile here. And I can go through and make a simple map here. Okay, I can look at my quantities. The first thing I'm going to do, I'll go through and just the sum length. What county has the highest number of total highway miles to it. Okay, so you can see here Guilford County is high, Rockingham County is high, Wake County over here is relatively high here, Johnston County is high, and all along here, kind of the east part near Route 95 here too, and around the Charlotte, uh, Charlotte Mecklenburg area too. Okay, that's good, but what I want to do is look at the traffic congestion. That's what part of exercise number eight was. I'm going to double click on this here. 
and look at congestion. And I'm going to go to my classifier here. You can see it's really skewed to the right here. And then I'm going to click on quantile so each class appears the same number of times. I'm going to right mouse click format labels. I'm going to get it just to one decimal point. Okay, and you notice right here when we look at my blue, you can see these divisions right here, my class divisions here. You can see this division here goes all the way from 657 all the way up to 2482. So there's different ways to classify our data right here. You can see here if I were to do equal interval, you would see that most of the values are going to fall within either class 1 or class 2. So the map is only going to have a couple of different colors and then maybe a, a sprinkling of the others. When I look at quantile, you're going to see each class is represented the same number of times. So we're going to see each color, the yellow, the greens, and the blues, occur the same number of times. So we're going to click OK. I'm going to click OK here. And now you can see here where we have the highest traffic congestion. You can see our urban areas right here. Okay, all along the 40, uh, this is 85, and then the 4085 corridor right here. Okay. So in this example, we use some geoprocessing applications such as intersect. So within each, and when we ran the intersect command, what we basically did was assign a county to each of these highway segments that lie within the county. I had to recalculate the length because ArcGIS is stupid. It's not going to know to recalculate the length. So I used the calculate geometry to calculate the new length. And then I ran a summarize tool to calculate the total number of highway miles within each county. You're going to have to do the same thing for state when we look at the interstate highways by county.